Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us here today. It's a beautiful sunny day. Today we're heading to the small town of Lee. Oh, Lee, Maine. I, yeah. I enjoy that little town. What are we, what are we going to take a look at? We're looking at an 18 acre lot with 400 feet of brook frontage and deeded waterfront access to which pond? To Green Pond. Green Pond's about a 114 acre pond. It's a warm water fishery. For the person that's looking to put up a, maybe a camper, build a small camp, pitch a tent, and canoe and kayak, it's, it's the ideal location. And the little village of Lee, population wise, what do we have? Probably a thousand people or less. Another one of those smaller towns Small town. that Maine has to offer. But it does have, there's a little diner in town, there's a downhill ski area. So for somebody, this is certainly a Four Seasons recreational destination. And then there's a lumber yard, mallets, mill, so you certainly could get some building supplies right in town. If you needed a bigger lumber yard, what do you think? We're surrounded by them. <laughs> <laughs> we, are this, we are known for our lumber, for sure, but the town of Lincoln. Yep, the town of Lincoln's 30 minutes away. That would not quite be your service town, but it's got a Walmart, Hannaford. Absolutely. Hospital, everything you need. Yeah, so let's head out and take a look. All right, guys, we are heading east on Route 6 out of Lincoln, Maine. Been driving for about 10 minutes. We've crossed over into the town of Lee. We'll be into the village here shortly. One of the things that we do want to show you before we get to the property, we did hit a little bit of a shower here on the way out, but we do want to show you just a few minutes from the lot is the boat landing to Silver Lake and the public beach there that you would have access to. So we're gonna make a quick stop there to show that to you. We'll be there in a few minutes. So we're just arriving into the village here and coming up on the left-hand side is Lee Academy. That is the regional high school for the town of Lee and a number of surrounding towns. They've got some good sports teams. We're gonna be turning here, taking a right here onto the Arab Road. And that'll take us out to the gravel right away into the property. So we've arrived here at Silver Lake and this is the public boat launch as a concrete ramp. You could easily launch a pontoon boat, almost any size boat you wanna launch here. Good fishing lake, great swimming. You do have, this is called Coles Landing. There's a public beach here to utilize. So you bring the family over, do your swimming but great recreational area. Let's head over to the land. So we turned off from Route 6 onto the Arab Road, and we've gone about 2.6 miles, and we're turning off onto the road right away that takes us into uh, the Bill Green, Bill Green Pond lots in here. So this is a seasonal off-grid location, and there is direct access to the ATV trail. We've passed some of the ATV signs coming in here, but we'll be to the lot here in just a couple minutes. We've arrived at the property here. I'm currently walking along some of the 400 feet of road frontage that the property has. This is a seasonal road, so you are gonna need a SUV to truck to traverse this. And a nice perk to this is along some of the road frontage you do have some blackberries. They're not ripe yet. Right now they're green berries, but I promise once they're ripe they'll be blackberries. Let's head over to the driveway and gravel pad. So the owner has already gone through the work and the hassle of putting in about 100 feet of driveway here leading to a cleared section for either your camp, camper, tent, whatever you'd like. It's a recreational property. So here's the gravel pad. As you can see, there's plenty of room for your camp, camper, tent, whatever you'd like. There's plenty of room and then some. Let's head down through the woods and see if we can get a shot of some of that brook frontage. The forest here is very thick and the owner has cut a little bit of a path coming down through. It's a thick, thick cedar forest. So you come off the road and the topography ranging at about 350 feet above sea level drops right down into this cedar forest. So what, it's a wetland all the way down to the, the brook. You can see right here, we're on the edge of one of the boundary lines. You can see the survey paint. So this is the common lot on Green Pond. Again, Green Pond's about 114 acres. It's a warm water fishery. 
but you'll see it's, it is a beautiful place to canoe and kayak and do a little bit of fishing. Here's the shore front of the common lot, looking out on the pond. And then the stream or the brook that's on the lot comes in right there. So very close to the common lot. So we've left the property, the 18 acres and the common lot on Green Pond. I wanted to show you real quick, there's a, the handy stop market here. So all your grocery needs, gas station. And this is also the entrance to Mount Jefferson downhill ski area. So the winter time, you're good to go here to do your downhill skiing. This is a great snowmobile area. We already talked about the good ATVing. So distances wise, we're an hour and 20 minutes to Baxter State Park in Mount Katahdin. So you can easily do a day trip there. The city of Bangor and the Bangor International Airport is at about an hour and 10 minutes south of here. And then if you're traveling up from Boston, you're gonna be roughly five hours, maybe a little under five, depending on how you drive. So. Thank you for coming along with us today. Just to recap, we looked at 18 acres in the town of Lee. This property has 400 feet of brook frontage. It's been surveyed. You have access to your ATV and snowmobile trails, and you have that deeded access to Green Pond, which is gonna come in handy if you're someone looking for a recreational lot. In addition to that, the price on this is $32,900 and your taxes are $238. Low taxes. For Very low taxes for what you're getting. What you're getting, for sure. Hey, we will look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Are you done already, Jake Brake? <laughs>